Still in Australia, but maybe not for long. Tennis ace Novak Djokovic, seen here at the airport in Melbourne, is now holed up in a quarantine hotel this morning while his lawyers launch an urgent bid to keep him in the country for the Australian Open, less than two weeks away. Overnight, the Australian Border Force confirming Djokovic failed to provide appropriate evidence to meet the entry requirements to Australia, and his visa has been subsequently cancelled. The 20-time Grand Slam winner announced on Instagram earlier this week that he had an exemption permission. Australia's leader, Scott Morrison, leaving no doubt where he stands. Rules are rules, and there are no special cases. Rules are rules. Fellow tennis star Rafael Nadal wading into the argument, telling reporters... If he wanted, uh, he will be playing here in Australia without a, a problem, no. Fans and supporters have gathered outside Djokovic's hotel. It's not fair, it's being discriminating against him. Djokovic's father saying in a statement that he's being held captive by the Australian government, adding his fans will gather on the street and fight. But many Australians who have suffered some of the world's strongest COVID restrictions are not impressed by Djokovic's attempt to enter the country. Well, I think it's a disgrace. I really don't agree with there being one rule for one and another rule for others. At stake, a chance to beat Roger Federer and Rafael Nadal's Grand Slam record and take his place as the greatest player in men's tennis history. Djokovic has stumbled recently, trying hard to hide his emotions after losing the U.S. Open last year. He has said in the past that he's opposed to getting vaccinated and has kept his own status private. So whether someone wants to get a vaccine or not, that's completely up to them. Djokovic tested positive for COVID back in 2020. And his deportation hearing has been adjourned until Monday when he could find out whether those vaccine views put his chances at making history in tennis on hold. Chanel. I'll have to keep following that one. Kelly, thank you. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.